Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and lovely greetings from the Simulator Center here, new concept in the beautiful countryside of Lausanne, Switzerland. This week, I'll be going to go back to my roots and try out their Airbus A320 simulator. And to make things a little bit more interesting, we'll be flying a standard NDB approach into Munich for runway 26 right. Well, what are we waiting for? And let's get started. Atari 702 Heavy, turn right on Gulf. Cross runway 22 right, continue right Zulu. Monitor 1239. All right, you guys. So in this video, we'll be flying the standard NDB approach onto runway 26 right in Munich with this beautiful Airbus A320 simulator. Now, initially we are northwest of Mike NDB at 7,000 feet and 250 knots. Now let's imagine the controller has given us a direct heading towards Mike NDB and then cleared us for the approach via Mike. So just prior passing Mike NDB, I dialed in heading 106, which is the QDR I want to fly outbound from the NDB. A quick ADF and NDB brush up. If you are flying towards the station, you are tracking a QDM. And if you fly away from it, you are tracking a QDR. For training purposes, we had no wind that day, so we want to exactly be flying QDR of 106, meaning the tail of the ADF needle should point to 106. Then I initiated a shallow descent of 500 feet per minute from 7,000 feet to 5,000 feet as requested by the approach chart. Now we have 22.9 nautical miles until our turn. Now at 250 knots, that will take me five and a half minutes. So loads of time for a two minute descent at 500 feet per minute. Well, I did then decide to also to reduce the speed a little uh, just for the upcoming flaps sequence. Next up is the radio navigation setup. Uh, so looking at the chart, we shall start the final turn when passing radial 036 from Ottersburg VOR. So we therefore have to tune Ottersburg VOR. So make sure you have the VOR2 a bearing pointer set to VOR2 and preferably switch to VOR rose mode for a better visual of the pointers. So at the moment, I'm still flying the QDR from Mike NDB, which is behind us, but I'm already pre-selecting Mike November Whiskey NDB which is the NDB to track towards the runway. Then I switched the altimeters to QNH as I passed through the transition level. Now we now have passed radial 036 of Ottersburg and we initiate a standard rate turn towards Gudeg. A lot is happening at the same time now. We switch to Mike November Whiskey NDB. We make sure that the ADF bearing pointer is selected to ADF1. And right after that, we need a DME indication, which is given by Delta Mike November DME situated at the airport. Our next action is to overfly Gudeg, or in case you would fly this entirely raw data with the Cessna 172, for example, you have to catch the QDM261 towards Mike November Visky NDB and once passing 12.1 DME from Delta Mike November, you are overhead Gudeg and then start your descent as instructed by the chart. We then start with the flaps schedule. Now, generally speaking, a non-precision approach is to be flown stabilized, meaning fully configured before reaching the final approach point. Now, as this is a relatively long final with 13 miles nearly, I decided to fly this decelerated, meaning I reduced the speed during the final approach, but it is recommended to fly this slow and conservative. Now, as we narrow in on the descent point, we pre-select the vertical speed in the vertical speed window. Now, use the easy formula, ground speed times five. Now, as we are still very fast with 200 knots, a descent rate of 1,000 feet is initially appropriate. We then continue with the flaps schedule, setting flaps two and reducing the speed for flaps three. Now, great help is the chart between the vertical profile and the top view showing DME distance and expected altitudes. Now, normally your pilot monitoring would read those out and notify you if you are too high or too low on the approach. Also, to maintain the final runway course of 261, when flying a QDM, you want the ADF to read 261. Let's say you drift off and the QDM reads 240, you then have to correct to the left, or as it is referred to, follow the needle until your expected QDM comes in. 
Now we are now passing 2,500 feet radio altimeter height. We then extend the gear at 2,000 feet above airport elevation is often the latest point. And then continuing with the flap schedule to flaps three and then reducing the speed for final flap setting. And shortly after that, we have reached the F speed for flaps full and we will then set the final flap setting. Now we are passing the NDB. Now just look at the ADF needle spinning around again. We now instantly have to fly a QDR and the reciprocal course of 261 is 081. So yet again, the tail of the ADF needle needs to be on 261. And if you are on either side of your QDR, you have to pull the tail towards your expected QDR. We now have to reduce the descent rate as our ground speed has decreased respective to our flap setting and then arming the ground spoilers, which yet again would have been the job of the pilot monitoring and then the landing checklist, landing no blue. Then we are approaching the minimums and you then request the flight directors to be turned off, followed by the autopilot Minimum. and the auto thrust off. So from here on, we continue visually to the runway, maintaining the descent rate in accordance with the copy. Maintaining that descent rate. And now just following the party. Slow down a little bit more. Here we go. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Retard, retard. Bye. Auto brake two says spoilers at the speed brake up. Fresh green. Seventy knots past. Disengage manual brakes. And then over to the tiller. All right, closing the last fast and taxiing off the runway. Right, set the parking brake and call for the procedures. Okay, those are all off. Uh, it's off. Strobe lights off. Start the APU. Okay, retract the flaps and speed brakes. Okay. That was it. That was a very, very nice NDB approach in when we 2-6 right into Munich. I, I always wanted to be doing this and this simulator, uh, yeah, just did me justice and I really, really enjoyed it. It's super, super nice to have this uh, replicate cockpit environment. All the switches and everything feels exactly like in the, in the real plane or in approved simulators, which we can use for our check rides. I think this shows nicely what an incredible good procedure trainer this plane or this simulator can be. So uh, thank you very much for new concept for allowing me to do this. This was a fantastic experience. <laughs>